Dear friend, I don't know who you are, but I hear you're a good listener. I'm starting my first day of high school tomorrow, and I'm completely terrified. I look into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Oh, beautiful sunrise There's so much they want Just like them old stars See that you've come so far to be right where you are. How old is your soul? The girl in my drama class is funny. Her name is Mary Jane, but she goes by MJ. I really hope I start making some friends soon. Get rough, I'm giving you all. Love. Describe your first day of school. Well, my um, first day at school, that's uh, in, in England, you go to big school at about what we call grammar school at about the age of 11. And I came from a very small junior school, we call it elementary school, where we had a full uniform to wear, school uniform, uh, with a cap, and we actually had short trousers. And going to grammar schools were important because you had long trousers to wear and um, a jacket and the cap when we went to buy the uniform the cap was optional you had to wear one of those silly caps you know and of course I didn't want to wear the cap being 11 and when I had the option of not wearing it and I begged my mum look I don't want to wear the cap and of course my mum and dad were saying oh it looks so nice take some pictures and we'll go off to school wearing your cap so they dropped me off at school on the first day and I walked in round by the cricket field in the long walkway and I could, I could just see there's about 600 kids or so in the school and people started looking at me and pointing at me and I didn't know many people in the school at all. So I had that first day's nerves. And within about, I think, five minutes of me getting into the school, into the playground, into the yard of the school, my cap, which was brand new and clean and my parents were very proud of, ended up at the top of the highest tree in the whole school grounds. And it stayed up there for a number of weeks because I was the only one that went to school that day with a cap because it was optional and I was the only one that was forced to wear it. And it was the most embarrassing thing that anyone could go through on their first day of school. So after that, I gradually whittled my school uniform down to the bare minimum that everyone else was doing. Um, but it was a really horrible experience. It took my, ha my cap taken off me and thrown at the top of the tree. Okay. You <gasps> guys hear about Courtney? Oh my god, she got stopped by the cat. So embarrassing, I can't believe it. That is so bad. It's like the worst way to get down. I know, yeah. by technique. Who does that?
Where do you live? Um, across the street. Oh, okay. Well, let's go to the party. All right. <laughs> exciting because I don't really remember it um, but I know that I felt pretty brave because I got on the bus and didn't even look back and it made my mom cry that I didn't wave to her when I left um, but it was good however I went to the same school for a really long time till seventh or eighth grade and then I had to start a new school and that I do remember. And it was really scary leaving all the people that I knew and then starting all over again meeting all new friends. <laughs> It really wasn't the greatest. I mean, I got bullied a lot, got shoved in lockers, three swirlies. One was by my math teacher, Mr. Smith. That guy's a mean, mean son of a gun. Let's go, girls. Why don't any of you guys talk to me? Uh, you stink. I know. No, you literally stink. Here, try this. It's a lady speed stick. <laughs> lady speed stick? Man, I smell like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go okay. to the door. Okay. okay. Wait there, I'll come get you. Okay. Alright, come here. It's okay. I, 
I can go in from here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sober enough to walk through your door. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Thanks. So my first day of school, I remember that I was in love with a boy named Nicholas, and I didn't want to go home, and I actually got in trouble for uh, trying to kiss him in kindergarten. So um, I did love school a lot. <laughs> Am I done? <laughs> Last night was so much fun. I know. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, no problem. It was so much fun with you. Even though I can't remember most of it. <laughs> it's all okay. We're all a little bit drunk. That's true. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Dear friend, I know I haven't typed in a while, but this time it's for a good reason. No family problems or abuses. I've just been having fun. For once. I finally feel like I have been led into people's lives. I finally have real friends. MJ and I have become best friends over the last couple of weeks. I'm finally having a great time. I finally feel like my life isn't just some cliche sob story. You know, parents divorced, moving cities, and drama with siblings. And it feels good, the lights, the buildings, the laughter, and the music. And in that moment, I swore we were infinite. Love always, Marley. First day of school. Since I can remember, my first day of school was scary, especially in my college day. I didn't know what I was walking into. I had no idea what I was getting myself into between students, different ethnics, backgrounds. I had no idea what I was getting myself. Yes, I was scared, but as time went by, I started to open up to people and it started getting easier and easier. I started making friends and then school became easy to me. Ready? Yes. Video. Ready? Video? Or what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Describe your first day of school. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's good. So where do you go to school? Huh? Where do you school? CDM. CDM? Where is it? Down the street. Down the street. So what project do you want to Huh? What project do you want? The project. Oh, what pro oh, project? It's for trauma. Street drama? School drama? No, no. This is gonna not shoot school, honey. This is a nail salon. <laughs> <laughs> not a school. Right? We have to go ask you. Ask what? What your first day of school was like. My first day of school? Yeah. What are you met a friend? Um, a new friend, a family friend, or the old friend? Just new friend. Like new friend, friend you met at school. Uh, Just a friend. <laughs> I will say, um, hi! How are you? And then can I, can I be your friend? Something like that. It's an old-fashioned, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can I do? What can I do? Like, mm, mm, new friend? To say hi. My name is uh, my name is Demi, right? My name is Demi. It's in questioning, right? I ask a friend in questioning. And then you just talking. Oh, what is school last year? Something like that. Uh, right? Yeah. You doing the same thing? Kind of. Kind of? Not really. Not really? <laughs> what are you made? Uh, we just like talk. Talk about what? <laughs> like whatever? Yeah. Like yeah. everything at school? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think my, I make friends like that when I'm a person. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank right. you. You what? Yo, tell you what I want, but I really, really want. Don't tell me what you want, but you really, really want. Really?